Bro. Oh, fuck! With this being the first anomaly that I witnessed here at the Lamb House, what really scared me about this encounter, whatever this was in the window, its arm was moving up and down really fast, as if it was waiting for me to leave the room. This was quite startling. After viewing the recordings, what really got my attention, it looked like a child was hanging off the front of this anomaly. I knew I've seen this child somewhere before, I have seen a lot of things in still shots and video recordings that didn't make sense. And I also saw a lot of things that were just beyond amazing. Sometimes you'd see this activity in real time. Sometimes you don't even realize you captured something until you view your recording or look at your still shots. But there is one encounter that captured the attention of a lot of people. Okay, there he is, in the window again. Went under the bed. After I viewed the video from this encounter, what I saw in the video looked nothing like what I saw in real time. In real time, it looked like another small shadow apparition sitting in the window. I viewed this recording closely, and once again, I noticed this apparition has a gray face and a head. I don't believe this is a shadow apparition at this point. However, I don't know if this is Shadow Dude either. At this point, I have no idea what kind of spirit I'm dealing with here. It doesn't attack, but it's extremely frightening when you encounter this. Screenshots on me to show people that that's not, that's not me doing the EVP sound. Oh my! I examined this encounter closely while trying to get a clear screenshot of this encounter. I did notice one thing about this encounter. Once again, this was an apparition with a gray head. Also, the head was deformed. I started questioning, is this Shadow Dude or is this something else? This didn't look right to me. What the hell is that noise? Son of a bitch! This was without a doubt one of the most scariest encounters I ever had. This strange anomaly was levitating in mid-air. While levitating, it was also moving up and down, as if it was coming after me. Many eyewitnesses around the world and through generations have witnessed something like this, where the entity can take on different forms of an animal. I have determined there's a really strong possibility I'm dealing with an imp. This sketch drawing here was done by a psychic. She drew her interpretation of what an imp looks like. An imp is a mythological being similar to a fairy or a demon, frequently described in folklore and superstition. But is this superstition? Even folklore tells starts somewhere. Imps are often described as mischievous and as a lesser being rather than a more important supernatural being. The attendants of the devil are sometimes described as imps. They are usually described as lively and having small stature. But this mischievous part caught my attention, because here at the Lamb House there has been a lot of strange things that took place, such as things moving around the house, things jumping out of the windows, levitating in midair. Yes, this all depends on what you believe within your faith. While doing a number of these investigations, many spirits warned me about dangers around me. 